Let's move on to the boss log. We begin by scanning the logarithm. How do we handle square or cubed roots within our logarithms? Well, we can convert back and forth between the radical form and the fractional form of these powers using this guide right here. So we have the square root of x minus 2. The value of n here is 2 for the square root, and the power under the radical is 1, so I can rewrite this as x minus 2 raised to the 1 half power. Down here we have the third root of y to the 5th power. Using this guide, we can rewrite this as y to the 5 over 3 power. Well, this may not look nice, but we end up working with fractional powers the exact same way that we have been working with integer powers in all of our other problems. So let's just move on to expanding the logarithm. I encourage you to expand this one on your own first, but in this video we wait for no one. Is everything on the inside grouped together and raised to the same power? No. Alright, so let's use the quotient rule first. We can rewrite this as log base 5 of the numerator expression minus log base 5 of the denominator expression. Within each of these logarithms I have a product of two expressions. In our first logarithm, 5 and the quantity of x minus 2 raised to the 1 half power are the two expressions. We can rewrite this as log base 5 of 5 plus log base 5 of the quantity x minus 2 all raised to the 1 half power. We can also rewrite our second logarithm as log base 5 of the quantity z squared plus 1 all raised to the third power plus log base 5 of y to the 5 thirds power. Remember, we have a minus out front, so we can distribute that in front of both of these logarithms. Next, log base 5 of 5 is a special case of the inverse rule from the last problem. This case is usually referred to as the identity rule. Essentially, log base a of itself is equal to 1. Similarly, log base 5 of 5 would equal 1, and so we can replace it with 1. For all other logarithms, we use the power rule to bring the powers out front. 1 half comes out front here, 3 comes out front here, and 5 thirds comes out front here. Now, let's look at the negative 3 log base 5 of z squared plus 1. Is everything on the inside grouped together and raised to the same power? Well, no. So we can't do anything with this second power here attached to the z. So sometimes the power may not be able to be brought out front using the power rule. After checking that out, I see nowhere else I could use a logarithmic rule to expand the logarithm.